Hello, 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 everybody. A um, bit of a random video here in response to something on the forum. So if you're not aware of what's what's uh, this is relating to, I apologise. It might seem a bit out of place. But um, what we're doing today, we're just we're just quickly in debug mode. It's going to be a very short video just to show sort of um, something I've been messing about with to show temperature change in pipes. Okay. Um, it's in response to a thread by Nano G Nano Nano D Nano Mages. Um, uh, I suppose it's a bit of an apology, really, or a, a confused apology, because I'm not really sure what's happening still, but I'm definitely not right. So I'm okay to admit that. But uh, yeah, to Nano Mages, I apologise, but still the plot continues. There's something strange. But there was a discussion on stream yesterday about temperature change of liquids within pipes, or rather, we were talking about gases in pipes, and then Nano Mages posted a thread about liquid change in pipes. So this is in response to that. Okay. Now, my thinking was, and from what I'd experienced when I first started playing the agricultural upgrade, like the day it was released, is that the temperature change in pipes had been fixed. And sure enough, on the little systems that I'd built here and there, the temperature change was apparent. Like this water was 20 degrees when I first spawned it in, in debug. I'm in debug mode here now, so this water was 20 degrees. The water was going through these pipes and coming out warmer. This water was one degree and it's now 2.4, 1.4, it's, it's, it's heated up, okay? <clears throat> the same was happening with gas pipes. I had gas pipes in closed loops that had come from, they'd only come from this hydrogen because I've got no electrolyzers or anything in the base. I have no hydrogen that I've used and I've not really used any of the natural stuff. I've just let it feck off into wherever it wanted to go. But this hydrogen was spawned in at minus 228 degrees or whatever it is now. And this hydrogen went into closed loops like this one uh, that was cooling batteries and currently now this hydrogen is sitting at um, minus 199 okay I also had other closed loops down here at the moment this has a thermoregulator in it but I only had to put the thermoregulator on because the temperature was changing but currently even still this gas is now at minus 40 minus 37 uh, minus 34 yeah, it's, it's warmed up a lot. And what I basically ended up doing was having a thermo switch here that would trigger on the thermoregulator occasionally, just to give a bit more of a surge of cold temperature into the into the room. It's clumsy. Don't don't judge me on this, it's very clumsy. This was when I was first tinkering with the natural gas gens. But I will just say, by the way, I have just woken up, so if I'm waffling a bit, I do apologise. I'm very, very groggy. Very, very groggy. But, yeah, what we're going to look at today is how it stands right now. So I my thinking is, and some of the guys in the forums have maybe said this as well, that it's been hot fixed. Um, there's been like two or three maybe ish hot fixes over the last couple of days. And I think they've reverted it for some reason. Maybe it was crashing people's games. I don't know, but they've reverted it. So we're going to test it right now and we're going to see what this does. So what we've got here, just to explain, we've got liquid uh, at 20 degrees. We've got a number of pipes zigzagging through just so you can see what's happening really more than anything. And all these pipes, all the white pipes are made from wolframite. Everywhere where you can see a white pipe, it's wolframite, just an uninsulated wolframite pipe, okay? We then have some abyssalite pipe, uh, insulated abyssalite pipe, just for overkill, um, running through the walls, so that the only bit of exposed pipe technically to any sort of extreme temperature is this section in the middle. And this section is flooded with magma at 1921 degrees. It's pretty warm, pretty toasty. And if we look at the temperature, you can see that that's the real only external factor that should be affecting it. Every, everywhere else is a vacuum. This is a vacuum, that's a vacuum, that's a vacuum. Okay. The plan is what we're going to do, we're going to run the pipe, uh, fill this pipe up with water, or not fill it, but get some water through it, set this valve to one kilogram packets, have water cycle around a little bit, and then see what happens. Okay. I have a theory at the minute that it's, it's the very act of closing the valve and locking off the, you know, dis deconstructing this pipe that is locking the temperature of anything within the closed loop in place. But I could be wrong, and I probably am, but we'll see. If, if anybody wants to look at the code, Rizu, I'm looking at you, you son of a bitch. If you want to look at the code or anything, please do, um, and happily prove me wrong, because I would just like to know what the score is, because all my plans for lovely, excellent crops in the future revolve around liquid cooling. So, anyway, um, what we're going to do basically is run the water through, see what it does, and then we'll put it through this filter, switch it on, pump the water out, see what temperature is. That's it. Okay, so... Let's get this going. Uh, so yeah. 
And we'll let this back up a little bit so there's some decent packets in here. Um, and then we'll turn this valve on at like 1, 1k. Uh, just to have a look, make sure there's nothing affecting it. All this water is currently still at 20 degrees. All at 20 degrees. Okay. So. Uh, we'll set this to one, one kilo. And um, we'll just disable this pump. Okay. So our water is currently at 20 degrees. Okay. It's going to hit this pipe and it should start increasing temperature. Okay. Uh, I saw a temperature change and then paused it. Right. Okay. So what I've noticed is the water seems to go through or, or the, the, the substance inside the pipe seems to go through three or four changes as it's as it's moving through one tile it will go up in a number of increments and then reset on the next tile or revert on the next tile so we've got water here now at 31.3 degrees 31.3 it's clearly being affected by the magma okay 31.3 31.3 and in the wall it's 20 at the minute if we watch this next liquid pipe it's now hit the it's hit this fresh tile at 20 degrees okay you'll have to excuse my space bar spamming by the way but that's the fastest way i can pause it 20 degrees again as it's hit the pipe and it was 30 or something you saw a second ago 20 degrees 23.8 that's the first increment 27.9 32.1 ah fuck, i missed it and now it's back in the next tile at 20 degrees again so it was increasing, 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 hits the next tile, stops, goes back to what it was. Okay, okay, let's see if we can do it again. So it hits the tile at 20, oh, 24, 27, that's all I could see then. Because there's a bit of lag when you're pausing it as well, it makes it really fucking difficult. But anyway, 20 degrees, 23.7, 27.6, 31.9. And then we hit the next tile at 20 degrees again. So yeah, I don't I don't understand what's happening. It is going through the temperature change and then it's snapping back again. But as I say, we'll, we'll run this through a little bit. And in a second, when it gets to about here, we'll nip off this pipe. So again, just have a look. All the water in the pipe is currently increasing in temperature, 26 degrees, 26 degrees. It hasn't been stopped at any point yet. And I'm going to try and ensure that it doesn't stop as much as I can. So there'll be no... Uh, one of the main things Nano Ages or Nano Deal, sorry, I apologise for cock your name up, but I think it's Nano D on the forums. One of the things that he was commenting on, commenting on is that as long as it doesn't stay sat for too long a period, it won't change in temperature. So at the moment, this water's been flowing constantly. Uh, so what we'll do now, just to ensure that we don't actually cock this up, we'll just do that. I don't mind if there's a, a couple of packets missing, that shouldn't really matter. Um, get rid of that one. And that one. Okay. So if we watch the water. It's not been paused at any point, like the water hasn't sat at any point. Nothing has stopped, it has just been going constantly. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to do this as fairly as I can, because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'm, I'm happy to admit that. I don't mind being wrong as long as I learn something. But I don't understand still. I don't get it. So, okay. There's our little closed circuit now. Our closed loop. All the water in these pipes is redundant now. This is all just sat at 20 degrees. We don't need to worry about any of this shit. What we are worried about is the water in these pipes. So, again, we're back to 20 degrees. In the wall here, we're at 20 degrees again. Okay? Everything is reverted. Throughout the, the magma, there is a temperature change. So, we're at 37, 32, 32. All varying 32s. 33, and then as soon as it hit, hit this wall tile, it'll start reverting again. I don't understand it. And then we're back to 20 degrees again. It's really, really strange, and I don't understand what's happening. So if anybody knows, please let me know. But what we'll do, we'll run this a little bit. In fact, we'll alt set this bit, try not. So we'll do a, a cycle. We'll do to cycle one one three, and then we'll uh, we'll pump it out. It doesn't really matter. There will be. I'm predicting there'll be a temperature change in the water when we pump it out. But as regards the pipes, these pipes should be getting hot. They should be getting toasty hot. 
Now, the pumping of the water out, I've got to do in quite a specific way, because I can't let the water sit either. This is multi... The reason I've used such, such hot magma is because if I let the pipes sit for a second, they'll blow up. <laughs> they'll turn into steam pretty much instantly. So uh, what I'm basically going to do is have to drip feed it off, and I'll, I'll show you how I'll do that in a sec. It's, uh, it's a bit clumsy, but it'll work. So we'll do, we'll do the rest of the cycle, and then in the morning, we will uh, see what we've got. As you can see, I mean, 22, 0.954, 22, 22, 22. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we've got a filter here that we can toggle on and I'm going to connect the pipe and what it's going to do is it's going to start splitting the packets and I don't know why I'm making that a wolf mate. just for continuity we'll build this out of insulated pipe made of abyssalite okay um, this is going to take a little while to exit because again I don't want the water to stop moving so this is going to try and split and go round and round and round and round and round so I'll do it in speed mode again um, and we'll turn this we'll turn this switch on so what this is, the filter's basically set to chlorine, liquid chlorine, I don't know why. But all the output will come out through the secondary output and into this room. Okay, and again, just to show you, this room is at, well, it's a vacuum, also a vacuum. Um, there's no, no trickery, no temperature. Okay. So, this may take a second, so I'll just speed this up until it's empty. And I'm not going to look at the water temperature that's in there. I'm going to leave it a second, let the pipe fully empty, and then we'll have a look. Again, only if we look, only half the packets go in there, so it, it takes a little while to empty. And some of the packets have to go around twice and stuff like that, so just give it a sec. Okay, now this is the big reveal, and if I've done something wrong, again, please correct me. I'll keep this on the debug save, and if anybody wants to ask me to change anything or tinker with anything, I'm more than happy to. Um, I suppose Brothgar's the man to really have a look at this, because he likes to do all this dicking about with spreadsheets and stuff. I'm, I'm not that technical, so... I built a, a big uh, phallic-looking thing, and went from there. Right, so we'll need one more pass for this liquid, and then we're done. Okay. So we'll turn super speed off, let this last packet get in. Okay. All the water is now in here. It's been through the cycle, it's been a closed cycle. The only time we've it's not been a closed cycle is when we filled it and when we emptied it. Okay, what's the water temperature? The water's at twenty-two point two degrees. It's not a big change, but it's not a lot of water. But it has changed temperature. So when and why? How did that change temperature? 22.1, 22.2, 22 22.2, 22.1. Help! Someone help! Tell me what's happening, I don't understand. Because there can't be a, there shouldn't be a middle ground. Like if it's not changing temperature in pipes, this should still be 20 degrees. It is changing. Can anybody explain why? That's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you that. But if anybody wants me to dick about this in any other way, I'll, I've got it saved at this point, so I can tweak this and fuck about it if you want me to. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. So that's that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope this. I hope this explains anything. <laughs> I don't know if it does. Uh, Nano mages. Um, again, I suppose this is, a, this is an apology, sir. So I apologise if uh, I came across as untoward. I was just being blunt because I was told by people apparently in the know that this had been fixed, and I think they're as baffled as I am now. So to the playtesters out there, please explain. To the clay devs, if any of you watch this, please explain. And bring back the fix, please, because we all want the heat change. We want that. We don't want this crap. We want the heat change. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Bye-bye.